Welcome to Shock to the Series. It is unknown how they defeated Agony. There was an explosion, and the war ended. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to episode six of Shock to the Series. We are taking a look at Locke's Quest, a game that was initially released on DS in, I believe, 2008. That was 10 years ago. That's a decade ago. Uh, we released recently, about a year and a half ago, May 2017, on PS4, Xbox, and PC. Um, I think this game was absolutely great. I am a little upset that it's just a remaster, not a sequel, nothing additional, no new like stuff on the upgrades, or I definitely get it. I might still get it eventually anyway, uh, because this game is so good, and I believe I sold my DS copy somewhere. It'd be nice to have on a console. Um, even though it was nice also to be able to take it around and port it places. Um, but it would still be nice to have again and to play through again. I'm curious if they did fix the uh, the glitch um, that I'm going to get to a little bit later. It's not really so much a glitch as it is just something that makes it way too easy at the end. Um, but, of course, Locke's Quest follows the story of a kid named Locke. Figure that out from the title. <laughs> and... Uh, his he is tasked with defending his village against these uh, soldiers called clockworks and they are machines uh, given almost life by this energy called source and it drives the clockworks it fuels it's this big fuel and it's kind of the big it's the big kind of sort of I guess MacGuffin if I'm using that term correctly um, for the series it's their, it's their big power source um, and the quote at the beginning is all uh, sort of precursor material um, because originally uh, Agonius, the master archineer, architect, archineer, or architect, engineer, um, archineer, the master archineer of the kingdom who helped to build the nation using source, um, of course, went a little crazy and decided he wanted to use source energy to create life. Uh, the king banished him from the nation for this, which of course angered Argonius. Agonius. I keep adding an R. Agonius changed his name to Lord Agony and started a war making clockwork soldiers pitting himself against the nation he had helped to build. Uh, and then, as it said, an explosion happened and the war ended so there's a lot of mystery at the start of this surrounding agonius's supposed death especially because now the clockwork soldiers are back rumors of lord agony have returned so as you start to learn Locke's abilities and do this uh, and become an archineer in your own right you have to deal with these attacks from clockwork soldiers that get more and more advanced as the game goes on. And there's a little bit of action and fighting because uh, Locke will automatically target any enemy you tap on and continue to punch that enemy or do whatever he's doing until um, you tap on another enemy or one of them falls. But you also have to build, there's also a tower defense uh, aspect involved. So you have to build walls and turrets and maintain and protect certain things and you build acid traps and all sorts of things, and that's where and it really starts to get interesting because you can't just sit back behind your defenses, um, because you also only have you have access to source as well, but you only have so much source to build things and then repair things. So if something gets destroyed, you have to use a little source to repair it, and it's a matter of keeping your towers up, but also making sure you take out the bad guys. But you can't let lock fall in. I think every scenario is because if lock falls, then it doesn't matter how good your defenses are. The battle just stops. They can be holding things back. But if you let lock fall. So this is another one of those games where the story really takes off. You start to see twists and turns and you learn why the past has come back to haunt the present, essentially. Um, and how it all ties into Locke and his sister Emmy and even their, I believe, grandfather, who I believe is Tobias. Um, so there's all kinds of 
twists and turns in this narrative and it's so great and it's really well done um i think that's probably why they re-released it because they figured you know people did miss out on this and it is an underrated gem in my opinion um so addressing kind of the last uh little bit that i mentioned again this is a game that only got one shot but um the final battle of course uh, without spoiling too much does more or less culminate against Lord Agony. And the problem ended up being that I was able to trap Agony as he was trying to teleport and do things. I was able to trap him between two high powered turrets. And for whatever reason, he couldn't figure out how to get out of being stuck there. And so in that case, I was just able to stand back with Locke because in this case, it was defeat Lord Agony. And protect the town so that was one slight hiccup is that the final battle ended up being way too easy it was probably just luck on my part because I don't have a lot of <laughs> I don't have a lot of I don't have the most strategic mind depending on the scenario it does depend and this is one of those things where you really need to think you can't just throw stuff willy-nilly you have to figure out which traps you like which turrets you like and which walls are strongest how much source to spend all sorts of things and it really can tax you a little bit mentally and you say oh it's just this e10 game it's kids it can't be that hard it can be it can be a lot to go through it can be a lot to go through especially the length of some of these battles and you don't always know what's coming there's some surprises sometimes so you think you've got everything figured out and then this big brute soldier appears or somebody with abilities that you don't expect um so yeah, that's it. I really think, uh, again, Lost Quest was made by Fifth Cell. Uh, Jeremiah Slaska was the director. Um, another one of those great underrated DS games. Uh, a couple of the, those. Um, a lot of those happened, unfortunately. And I really think that Locke's Quest, I think Locke should go on a second quest. Do you agree? Post your opinion in the top right. Should Locke go on a second quest? Or should we let him rest and take the well-earned vacation he gets at the end of the story? Just pulling something up real quick because here we go. Next week, I'm going to look at a series whose representation has definitely dropped over the years. It hasn't gone completely off the radar in a sense. Uh, it is made by Konami uh, and I love the N64 games and you could definitely say that they made an impact on me and I think a lot of other people that's it for this one guys that is lights out on shock to a series locks quest